What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy George here with Vegas Mas Try. Today we're here at Area 15. We're gonna check out the things to do, the food, attractions, all that stuff. Let's jump right into it. So what is Area 15? It's essentially an immersive venue here for entertainment. They're offered VR experiences, axe throwing, there's food, bars, a bunch of other stuff here. Entry here at Area 15 is usually free, but if you want to be 100% sure, you can book your tickets online. Right outside, you are going to have the Art Island, which is where I'm standing right now. You're going to have a lot of art exhibit. Right next to it, you're going to see the lift off, which we're going to go on in just a second. Also, you're going to have a Luminarium, which is part of Area 15. It's in the same complex, but it's a bit different. They have other uh, art exhibit shows, and it's an event center. And you're also going to have Lost Spirits a bit south of that. First thing in our itinerary today is doing the lift off bar. Let's go check it out. All right, so first off is lift off. This is basically an observation deck that spins 360 degrees, 130 feet up in the air. So there's a bar right next door, which is the lift off bar. You grab your drinks and you can take them here and you go up there with them. All right, so they do have lockers here to leave your bag and stuff. You can only bring your phone with you and they give you a little thing here. The rest I'm gonna record with my phone. All right, made it up here, got our drinks. Let's get it going. It's a really hot day, but we're right here under the shade, so cheers. Look down. Wow, the wind feels different up here. It actually feels nice. A nice view of the strip and the freeway. And all the people are standing in line. Jesus, look at that line. Look at that. I didn't know this uh, This was here. Area 15 does not exist. Uh, we're basically up here for, I think it's like 10 minutes, but he said two rotations worth. So you definitely get to see all the angles, the ins and outs. All right, we made it back. And I believe the prices for this is somewhere around like $15 per person. Definitely get yourself one of these drinks. I already feel it happening tonight. Let's get 15 and check this out. Boom. here at Kaya. This is the newest restaurant here at Area 15 and it's basically like a hand rolled restaurant. So for those of you that don't know, it's basically like a sushi but hand rolled by the sushi chef right in front of you. So I like the setup here. It's very minimalistic and then right on the walls you have artwork of, it looks like sushi chefs or just chefs in general. But the cool thing is that they're all women. But let's get down to business with the food. Let's order some hand rolls. Ooh, check that out. All right, so here we have the Asahi beer. And then here on the left hand side, we have a Bushido sake. All right, so we got our first hand roll here. Look at this fatty. Mm -hmm. All right, let's dip this bad boy. Oh man, all I can say is yes. Toro is basically fatty tuna. Adding some of that ginger up here, Ooh, boy. So the menu has some prefix items that you can get, like packages. So you can get a three roll set, a four, a five, and a six roll set. Um, I was gonna go for the six roll set, but I was like, hey, am I really that hungry? I don't know, let's go a la carte. Blue crab, scallops, salmon, yellowtail, spicy tuna, toro, tuna poke, and then they also have one that I'm really interested in. It's called the lobster truffle. All the rolls here are anywhere from seven to eight dollars, except for that lobster truffle, which uh, you know your boy got for sure. Here we have the scallop hand roll. Here we have the lobster truffle hand roll. Fresh and citrusy. $12 roll right here. So I didn't see any pieces of truffle in there. So I think it was more like truffle butter. I wanted the grand finale to be the lobster, but we got the spicy tuna. But let's get it going, man. This is actually tasting quite fabulous. It has like bits of deep fried onion or something. All right guys, this is a ube cheesecake. 
Gotcha. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, guys. And for dessert, we got this ube cheesecake right here for six dollars. Uh, not a hand roll, just a regular cheesecake, but except that it's purple. I have never seen a purple cheesecake like this. Check this out. Ube cheesecake, first time ever. Let's go. And it's actually good. Here at the bottom, you're not gonna have like dulce de leche. Yo, this is fire. I think if you're just coming to Area 15 and you just ate, this might be worth just coming and getting this for six bucks. Now I'm gonna finish this beer and the rest of this sake because someone doesn't want to drink. We got more of Area 15 to discover, so let's get it going. Area 15 is open from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. on the weekdays and 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. on the weekdays. Now, keep in mind that after 9 p.m., you have to be 21 years old to enter this place. And this place is basically like an adult playground. So as long as you have a couple of hours, you can come here and enjoy a bunch of things. So right now, let's go over to our first destination here inside Area 15. Ice cream here or some boba? Okay, let's go. This is a nice quad area and we have Omega Mar here to the left hand side. We are gonna come here in just a second. So there's dueling axes here, five iron golf, which is some indoor golfing uh, for you golfers. Then we have, I think it's the Museum of Fiasco up there. I may be mistaken, but this looks so cool. Check that out. Oh, this is something called Birdly. It's basically like a 4D experience. You're basically a bird, and up here you can see whatever she's seeing. It's super cool. There is a fan here. This is called the Oddwood Bar. It's located right in the middle of everything. It's like a really nice place to come by, grab a drink, and uh, enjoy the psychedelic experience that is Area 15. All right, we made it to Asylum now for our next experience. We have some arcade games here, beautiful lighting, nice artwork on the walls, the bar is lit up perfectly. This is the upstairs area, you have arcade games, pool tables, all that stuff. This place looks really cool and colorful. Alright, let's get it going. This is so cool, I'm driving through Las Vegas, check this out. I am on the strip, let's go, there's a mirage right here. Caesar's Palace, the Bellagio Fountains. This is so cool. The Aria, Paris. Okay, turning right, dude. One handed. Dude, sign me up for F1. Let's go. So, this is a simulation of what the F1 track is going to be here in Las Vegas. So, as you can see, look, we have the sphere right down there, the Venetian Encore and Wind. This looks so cool and I'm crashing because I'm paying attention to the phone. But let's get it going. All right, now it's Fanny's turn to go at it. Let's get it. That actually does look pretty cool. Oh no! She tipped over, no! All right, so now we're going to Omega Mart. Uh, hopefully they don't make me put this camera away. So this is Omega Mart, the weirdest, most psychedelic grocery store that you could ever find. And as you can see, everything here is actually for sale, even though it does look weird. It's kind of like a museum slash like gift shop in my opinion, uh, but you can actually access the backside, which we'll do in a second. It's really cool. It's way bigger than just this. Right, here we have some cereal boxes. What is this? Rumored associates, simply spiders, honey clumps. What are these? Leprechaun kidneys? Okay. Think about less garbage. I wonder if it's just like water with like coloring or if it's an actual like cleaner. These avocados are actual uh, like a wallet. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Can't go in there yet. Can't go in there yet. Go in there. All right, that girl just went in there. So a lot of people don't know this, but there is a speakeasy here at Omega Mart. If you make it to the end of the actual supermarket, you have this place right here. Check this out, just as colorful and lively as everything else here at Omega Mart. Oh, what is going on? 
That chicken has tattoos like Adam Levine. There you go. Oh, we're so old. <laughs> let's go, let's open that up. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's nice and chilly in here. Okay, so where the heck were we? We were just at a food market. Now we're in this like weird spaceship, psychedelic, colorful place. Every person that comes here, it's gonna have a different journey. Right here we have some. Take us some beats. All right, now we're going down to the lower level. I think we're like on the fourth floor because I see a slide over there. <laughs> oh no, the slide is also closed. So now we got to this area that there's different rooms. We have this colorful one. Then we have this like kind of like jellyfish, silver, shiny one. And then we have this one. Kind of like a kaleidoscope. There is room after room after room. There are so many things to look at here. All right, check this out. This looks like a hacking dungeon. Oh crap. What is going on? Sure. Everything looks weird. People look confused, but uh, it's, a, it's a nice sight. There's a lot of nice colors. All right, let's go into the next one, Luxophone. So when you touch these lasers, they start making music. <laughs> okay, let's go, a mirror room. There we go. We're about to go into the strobe room, so if you have uh, epilepsy, stop watching this for a second. Speeding up first. You see me right there. So now we're going to Haley's Comet, which is their version of the zip line here. You basically go around the whole venue here and come right back. I don't think you go at very high speeds. Haley's Comet costs $18 to go, and uh, it looks like a quick, like maybe like a minute or two minute ride. So let's get it going. Haley's Comet and uh, it's about $18 and it's a little over a minute so it is a bit expensive for what I think the value of the fun is but it's nice it's a nice little experience here and you, there's a couple of requirements here but pretty much anyone can do it All right guys, so those are just some of the few destinations and activities that you can do here at Area 15. Remember, there are 28 of them. If you like this video or found it helpful whatsoever, please remember to give this video a like, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and then comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you're just bored because it all helps the algorithm. Till next time guys, peace out.